What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Joyce, aka AJ Cats, back at it again with another one. We're back in the cut. We're back in the cut, y'all. And it's Halloween. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. And I'm feeling great. I got my little ears here. Ready to be cute and hand out candy. Like, there's nothing else to it. I am wearing a shirt. <laughs> um, yeah, so of course, we're handing out candy this year. Um, I didn't really do too much when it comes to dressing up. I just have my little ears that I bring out from time to time when we do get our party on, and they come in handy. So, yes, that's all we'll be doing. I hope you guys are doing well. If it's your first time here, my name is Joyce. I go by J Cats. I focus on lifestyle videos, fashion videos, beauty videos, challenges from time to time, and pretty much anything I feel like recording, I do for you guys. So if that's what you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let me know your favorite part in the comment section below and turn on your post notifications so you know every time I post. Okay, so it's about 5 p.m. right now. The kids will be arriving soon. Um, I'm just really in my like comfortable vibe right now. I'm at home, of course, but I didn't want to do too much when it comes to dressing up. So I'm wearing my big, comfortable sweater. I'm sure you guys have seen this one before. Um, black tee and some sweats. That's just a little magazine that I have there. I'm trying to pick out some things. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about that later. But yes, so yes, that's what we'll be doing, y'all. I hope, Hopefully I'm able to get some good lighting. We packaged all of the candy last night, so we're pretty much done. Now we just wait for them to arrive and to see their cute little costumes, to see the sleigh, and yeah, go about our evening. So yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next bit. This is the candy we have for this year. We packaged them in these cute little baggies, little goodie bags, and then these were the leftovers, and those are just child. I'm gonna get one of these. Gun chow. That'll last like two seconds. Shoot. Twig. Snickers, of course. Where the Mars at? Where the Mars at? Where the Mars at? Mars. Mars. All right, we're good. Thank you for your services. Good man. Can y'all see the gate? I hope these don't like roll as we walk. Like, go, 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 go. Uh -oh. <laughs> this week we will be doing a hairstyling video. Um, I was rocking in last week's vlog. I had two cornrow braids going back, and oh, hold on. And I really wanted to showcase this style and to recreate it for you guys so it's a very simple hairstyle it's a protective style and of course with winter around the corner we got to get these protective styles in line so yes I'll be doing these two cornrows going back to show you guys how I achieved the look and to you know get y'all in the protective style vibe and mood for this winter for starters we're going to begin with parting the hair down the middle all the way to the back to create two sections, to create two sections. Uno, dos. I'm going to be starting on my left side because it's easier for you guys to see. Or my right side because it's easier for you guys to see. And um, yeah, I'm cool with doing that either way. I like to add products in before just to make sure everything is smoothed and I apply it more so around the perimeter of the braid before going in with my brush and brushing the jam or gel in. Around the back as well. It ain't too much, but it ain't too much. 
and more so of the focus is on the root of the hair like closer to the scalp and then using a bristle brush a soft bristle brush more specifically to comb the product throughout around the front and um when you're working on the front section it's helpful just to you know get your baby hairs together comb the product upwards as the braid will be more so in the middle rather than closer to your edges and there we have it so rather than doing a, a feed-in style where I am adding braiding hair into, as I go down, I'm going to braid my natural hair, then add braiding hair at the end. That's what I found has worked best for me. to keep the sections as small and neat as possible. I just braided down a bit more my camera died a bit but when I get closer to the end this is where I start incorporating the braiding hair so into a feed like a feed-in style of course let's grab this okay find your three pieces here we go and loop this in Oh gosh. Okay. I'm gonna do one more. That's one. 
And then I just braid all the way down. There we go. See, I have a little bit more hair left and that's all good. I'm just going to tie it up actually so that when I put it in a bun, it's just not all, it's not braided all the way. There's like a bit of personality to the braid. So there we go, there we go. Boom, boom, double knot. One braid is done. Now I'm going to just do the same thing on this section. So braiding my real hair down and then incorporating the braiding hair closer to the end. I also find that this method results in a cleaner braid for me. Like that could be different for you, but, or for the way you guys do it, but um, that's how I, that's what I have found. Okay. Down to red to the very end. There's kind of a product overload happening right now because I had my hair slicked yesterday, so ooh, gotta work through that. while still being wet, as gentle as possible. Okay, boom. Okay. The other side i'm gonna just keep braiding down and then um when i get to the end i'm a circle back with you guys Okay, now we're getting to the juicy part. Oh God, the braid isn't perfect, y'all, but it will work. <laughs> okay. Grabbing our braiding hair.
Okay, so there you go. I just added in the braiding hair. Now I'm just braiding to a decent length. And then tying it up so that I can create the bun. Okay, do you guys see how simple that was? That was so simple. And of course, when I'm actually ready to wear my hair out and like I have my makeup and stuff done, I can get the baby hairs together. You know, this braid is a bit far back, but it's okay. It's okay, y'all. Okay, so yes. Now, what I like to do personally, as much as I can wear the hairstyle like this, is to grab the end of the braid and to create a bun. Twisting and wrapping the braid around itself. And that little piece that I left out adds some personality to the look. So yes. Same thing applies for this side, wrapping the end of the braid around itself around itself to create a bun leave the little extra bit out and now we have our two buns whoop 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 what i'm gonna do now is to i'm gonna grab my head scarf wrap my hair for the night and you know go to sleep so that tomorrow it comes out nice slick and cute so yes that concludes the hairstyling video of the week y'all i wanted to show you guys how i achieved this really simple protective style two braided buns or two cornrows that i made into buns um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this week's video please let me know what else you'd like to see uh with that being said i appreciate you guys so much for stopping by and tuning in and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one